Hello guys, Cool Yoshi here, and welcome back to my Crash Team Racing Nitro Field playthrough, 100%. In the last episode, uh, we did a bunch of Rain Rally tracks, and we're nearly done with that. I've come back to show you that I did uh, all the cup challenges except for one off screen so I beat every cup but one on hard mode and that's because I will actually be doing one cup one cup on hard mode now I could have done this via video but it would have gotten really boring except for I guess the hard mode courses because they're quite a bit different and you have to play them perfectly but it would have been very painful to record as I essentially would have had to cut out a lot of stuff and I may even have, end up having to delete some videos occasionally depending on how bad I performed. I g went for it now, it's not quite as hard as I remember. I guess my strategy is I kind of just did time trials on all courses to make it easier, but other than that though... <clears throat> so yeah, we did every hard mode cup but one. At the end of the playthrough, I have decided that I'm going to do one cup at the end as a finale since this game doesn't really have a true credits when you complete the other stuff now we technically did already do almost everything we finished the game's main 100 percent objective which is collecting our all the uh a different unlockables and beating the adventure mode 101 percent and a lot of those lockables involved beating the oxide time trials which we did so yeah so now we're kind of just doing other stuff. The Rain Rally rules right now that I'm going with is I basically have to go through Rain Rally, get the high score on each track. Because if I do not get the high score on each track, then um, it's not fun then. Green Rally is quite a bit different than a regular track playthrough because you can't just go through and do everything you want. You have to follow a specified path and it's kind of annoying because it's very easy to forget sometimes. Like, see, I already forgot where one of the rings was completely. That's probably the worst rain location right there, in the middle. And the cycle of that guy is probably gonna actually matter this time later on. In case you're wondering, we have to do a lot of hopping around these courses to get a good dice score. Without the hop, it's kind of tough. There's also a lot of brake drifting involved and more. I need to pay attention because if I lose my boost stun, I pretty much lose the run right there. Not really much. I can't really concentrate when doing this because uh, it's kind of difficult to do otherwise. We've obviously gotten to the point where almost each one of these is going to be hard in its own unique way. And I'm surprised that didn't happen sooner. I knew that guy was going to be in a bad spot sometime. If you play really well normally in the original track, he's not ever really in a bad cycle and it's very easy to adjust. When you're trying to get rings as well though, you have to get hit I am often to get some of the rain locations. Yeah.
This gets really fast at the later rains points. And the smaller the rains get, the harder they become to actually pick up. You pretty much have to start skipping some rain locations, at least unless you're not uh, also obliged to just immediately use your big boost to go for it. Barely completed the A-flap on this one. That's a pretty good score for this track. This is... I probably should have mentioned this before, that... When I said Green Rally was easy, I don't actually mean that at all. Green Rally is actually a much harder mode. There's lots of spots where you pretty much have to break drift in the middle of tracks to get some of the... Green Rally scores, and yeah. It's kind of annoying, to say the least, but we'll try and make this work. So, I'm hoping to maybe complete Rain Rally in this episode so that we could move on to the next setup. Of course, uh, once we get to Crystal Challenges, it's probably going to be really silly, because each of those episodes are probably going to be like only maybe one part or one big part, and I'll cut it down in half. I don't know, but... Uh, it is what it is, I guess, but it depends, though. It depends on what I get. However, one thing I am not looking forward to is... I think for my 100%, I'm going to do all the Relic races. Oh, I knew it. We have to fly for the windmill this time around. I don't like flying for the windmill. The windmill has a secret effect of potentially screwing me out of certain things if uh, not timed right. Yeah, out of time, definitely one of the hardest tracks to do this on. Keep in mind, all we need is to get the high score on each of these, and we're done. So, yeah. My only thing that I've had to do so far is potentially strap a couple of bad runs because of it just being unfortunate and whatnot. And that's just like, like it. Like, I've had quite a couple of races so far. Okay, well, that's definitely a jump and a half. The biggest thing I was worried about with this one is actually taking that shortcut on at this part of out of time properly. I think you're supposed to hit that in lap one, that exhalation box that I've been skipping. Okay, geez, that's a bad one. That lost probably like five seconds there to not keeping it. Uh, 
how many bonks am I gonna have? Uh, more bonks am I gonna have, I wonder. I've already messed up quite a bit. And that's probably the main reason why this is so hard. There's lots of speeds that you'll get that you're not used to. And of course, if you uh, get the light blue reins on the 8th lap, you reach maximum speed and then it gets absolutely crazy. Like, you go so fast half of the time that if you don't know what you're doing, you could just bonk into, like, everything. You start having a brake drift everywhere. It does it help that the time bonus is slowly weakened as the thing goes around. Yeah, I probably should have done it like that. Me going back to the right has not been the best. Also, I guess while I'm at this right now, I'll give you an idea of how I beat the CPUs in the hard mode. Two words. Do the time trial. That's because if you try and play like you're doing a time trial, I tend to win a lot more than if I do that. I don't care. This is not the best score for this spot, but I don't want to try it again and, and to get better. I'm just trying to get the top score on each of these, just so I can say that I have them. Probably the more annoying one is going to be actually platinuming every challenge again, because obviously I'm going to want to potentially platinum all of the box areas in, uh, oh, Crash Nitro Kart, all the Crash Nitro Kart courses in bonus tracks, I want to potentially platinum as well, so... Again, Relic Race will probably be the next hardest vein here, but there is still one hard vein left. The hard mode CPUs on some chance are definitely dumb. Now keep in mind, a lot of these modes beyond the Rain Rally, they aren't needed for 100% completion. So as a result, not many playthroughs I'm throwing off. So I'm actually doing a lot of these modes just for uh, fun. I will... I did know mention that uh, one of the modes that I will not show off is the online feature. And that's because the uh, Switch community in particular for this game, the online Switch community, I heard uh, bad things from it. Like, they suck quite a bit. More like, I guess they're inactive. Like, like and it makes sense. Like. When a Switch has an already greater game called Mario Kart 8, then it's hard to get a good community established. Of course, things have probably changed. There might be a lot of people, but in particular, if I'm going to ever play this game online, I'm going to do a completely separate uh, video list for it. So if you guys want to request it, you can go ahead and do that. But do be warned, if I do go for it, I'm going to be going on the PlayStation 4 version only, and nothing else. Because I don't think there's actually a PS4... P, P, uh, PC version, rather, excuse me. I don't think there's a PC version. But there is a PlayStation version, so I can do that. So... So, yeah, the PlayStation 4 version, version, if I was playing online gameplay, that's what I'd actually go to, because compared to the other communities, the PlayStation 4 Crash Team Racing Nitro Field community is free, twice as active. There's a special event going on almost every time there, which is Cran Wars or whatever it is. So... That makes it really good, in general. Like, in general, the PlayStation X version, for that one reason, has a much better online ability than the... Yeah, PlayStation 4, compared to Switch. That's what I at least heard someone say, though. I did try a couple of online races for some coins on this account, for the purposes of trying to do 100%, and... 
I was able to find one uh, race with eight players in it, and my races were actually averaging around five to six players per time. It's probably because I played with the weekly bonus active where you get, well, curse. there's uh, five times Wampa bonus for the start of each uh, beginning spot. By the way, I hate going this middle route in this track, which is why I usually go around the sides, because... Because, uh... Having to go middle for that stumper is not fun, because... That obviously costs you a lot of time if you get hit by it. We don't have a really good way to evade it, it's really massive. But yeah. I guess back to the online community. The online community is really balanced, but if I were to play this game online, it would be on the PlayStation 4 version, because like I said, there's just so many more online players in general. And it's literally active to the point where you'll get uh, seven to eight player races extremely regularly. In fact, most of your sessions will be around seven to eight players at Ron, with the least baby being like five players. Because there's so many players playing this game on PlayStation, it's actually kind of crazy to see. So, I will suggest this, if you are going to do online capabilities, do not pit the Switch version. It has its uh, own set of capability members, but most people prefer the PlayStation 4 version for that reason. That's only my opinion though, and technically I saw someone else make that opinion as well though. It is literally up to you, but enough talk with that. Back to the game. Serene Rally was kind of mixed. Not a very tough one, because, of course, it has that stupid uh, stomper cycle to deal with. Did not like that one bit, so hopefully Hyperspeed Speedway will be a little bit easier. It has fire cycles, but I always jump there every time, so... Getting to rain any rains up there should be fine, hopefully. This is a, one of the longer courses, so expect to see maybe high point totals. This one does have an annoying shortcut, though, so if I aren't able to take the shortcut, I may end up resetting. I've had to reset a couple of times on these, but I will try my best to just go for the run without resetting and just hope for the best. Of course, it doesn't help that I've hadn't played this in a while, so... I haven't had much practice on this. See, how am I supposed to know it's on the second side? By the time I... By the time I looked onto the side, I noticed that I was on a completely different spot. And... Jump right. That's the spot I always worry about the most because you get sent so fast into it. It's really hard to get through that without uh, hitting the fire because you go so high you jump over the spot where you would normally do the jump and land on the second fire directly instead and that's gonna actually be a restart screw that sorry that fail would have resulted in me having to redo the entire jump so I didn't want to stick with that I want a good high score so I'm gonna restart that of course if that was in the last map I wouldn't be able to avoid that so hopefully I do a little bit better this time around If they're gonna happen, at least have these resets happen early. Keep in mind, I may have to do a technical reset, because I did say I want to get the top high score, so if I fail to get the top high score, that means that I would have to reset until I get that. 
And for, of course, the Relic races, though, it'd be way worse, because plat because of having to Platinum them. Okay, well, I evaded it that time. Yeah, this is really fast right now. Okay, I don't need to jump here. Oh, thank goodness I made that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, turn yourself around! Okay, now I'm kind of tempted to reset because of that bad fail again. To be fair though, you're going so fast, so I probably shouldn't really get angry. The lasers uh, this one are so fast that it's really hard to dodge him. There that, there's that pain trick again. Keep in mind, if I don't jump on those laser sections, I would get hit by something. That's probably the best jump I could have hoped for. Had to remove my boost there, just, uh, just for safety, obviously. This is definitely one of the funnest tracks to play normally, but in this mode, it's really challenging. Okay, now I just straight up popped over the late fire. Didn't even have to worry about spewing at all. Very weird. I don't know. I'll, I'll take it, I guess. I had to play it safe there and avoid those rains because uh, of that... Uh, Laser fire. You never know when that's gonna hit you, you know. Keep in mind, this booster means you reach maximum speed early than on any other track. I just jumped over that. That's a silly move to do. Oh, that was a sick move, dumping over that at the last second. Thought for sure I was going to get hit by that. And we got the 3k at least. That's a good score in my eyes. Obviously, the perfect thing that would happen there is for me to... You call that racing? <clears throat> for me to get go through that jump or whatever and do the brake drift and have me uh, not slow down at all. That's one of the best things to do. Uh, I, and that's what I mentioned. That's what makes Green Rally so hard is that you have to brake drift almost everywhere. But anyways, we're on to the bonus courses now. Completely new courses that were added that were original now and added to this game so we're gonna be starting with twilight tour probably the easiest of the um, of the bunch in my particular uh, attendance there's hardly anything that could go wrong and there's one spot where you keep pink anyway so you just drift around the entire thing and it's 
not a problem at all. The biggest problem will be controlling my drift to get the rings in their locations. So that's probably going to be the most difficult part. Of course, I'm more worried about Gingerbread Joylight and its number of shortcuts. That's going to probably pose a big challenge to me. So we get to do this jump for the first time. Ooh, I think they expect us to jump over those death bits or whatever they're called. Already I lost Fink, that's not a good start. Oh, that's a hidden shortcut. Keep in mind, by going for Rain Rally, Rain Rally is like a second spot where you can uncover new shortcuts by uh, following the rings. That was close. Yeah, I kind of just have to yell over the second jump. Doesn't seem to save much time going up there. Okay, this is probably one of the biggest fails that could have happened. Last lap when I had pink, it was a lot quicker, so yeah. Keep in mind, you don't just have to go for all the rings to get a high score, you have to go for all of them to get enough points and also keep your uh, speed at the same time. That's what makes things a little bit hard. Like, you've already had problems to keep your speed, but now you have to try and keep your speed while going for a set of rings. Well, whatever that shortcut is, definitely makes setting up for that a lot easier. And it is technically a shortcut since you skip having to drift around that turn, which makes sense, I guess. So I'm guessing when I was doing the uh, uh, Entropy or whatever it was, Oxide Time Trials, maybe that was one of the shortcuts I was missing because I went through that entire thing and I never saw Oxide take that, so either he didn't or he did take it and I just didn't see it. Can I at least get up? It doesn't help that I can't even jump half of the time. You know there's this button that you press to jump? All my fails so far, I've not even pressed the button at all. Thankfully, I haven't had to reset yet, so it's not terrible, I guess. Yeah, that is definitely a pit, too. I usually avoid that. Oh, there's that guy that one time uh, hit me. I may or may not have to do a backup of avoiding those veins if he ever gets in the way. Oh, that's much easier. It's because I lost all my speed in that one part that I couldn't uh, take that as efficiently. There's the 3k. Nice. We got it. Oh. 
Okay, I actually jumped this time. Hooray. It's so crazy to believe that all my fails in this track, at least in this run, have come from me not even pressing the button to jump. I need to seriously consider trying to not have that happen. These take quite a bit longer, by the way, compared to regular races. A little laps get completed quicker, they take a lot longer in general. And some of them are definitely harder. Like, Vasco was one of the easiest to do. I got to 8 almost immediately, which is like the one kind of speed you would aim for. But yeah. I guess since this is my finale, I'll make it as one video. If it's, uh... The, it's not the finale. It's the finale of Rain Rally. The final part of Rain Rally. Just to balance things out so that my parts don't become mixed. I'll just try and finish it in this episode. If I don't finish it, then uh, I will sp uh, finish it within an hour. Then I will split up the video again. But hopefully that doesn't happen. I'll probably end up being around 50 minutes, maybe close to 1 hour 5. If it's around that, I'll keep it that way, but if it's too long, then I may have to change veins. Yeah. Keep in mind, you get a higher bonus from these reins early on. Oh gosh. Keep in mind, you'll go past that you're not used to going normally, so... How was I supposed to know that rain set was on there? That's what makes these video courses so difficult, because you don't expect to have to go to a specific spot, and that's... If I were to pick between one of the spots, it would have to be, I would definitely take one of the shortcuts versus not take it. Okay, screw that. That, that plus a fit fall is not good for me. I'm going to reset this so I can get a better run. The lap one is always really important since you can on, on, only start with uh, five minutes at the beginning. So if you don't do good enough, you'll just instantly lose on like lap one or something. I'd never go this way, by the way, because it is technically slower in time trials to go this way. Jeez, my nose. I hate when my nose does all sorts of bad stuff, and I don't want it to. Uh, classic. Getting slammed into the wall because the pink boost is too fast. I'm gonna have to probably break shift that. There's no other way of doing that. Okay, well now I think I've done I'm good enough to keep it, so we're gonna definitely keep going now. At least I understand the root rabber, I guess you could say. Keep in mind, it is very important to use Drift Boost to maintain your speed when there are no rains around. As if the tips haven't already told you enough of that. Ah, jumped right over the boost pad there. That's never fun when that happens. Ran into the wall, nothing different. That will happen quite a bit in these tracks where I'm trying to just 
get the reins because your speed will just be so fast that you'll slam into the wall most of the time. So speed's not quite as quick here, but still decently quick, I guess. Of course, once you get up to lap file, whatever it is, I forgot it again. We'll reach maximum speed again. Keep in mind, the tips used to be a little bit different in the original game. It seems like in this new patch, when they added Rain Rally, they focused on making a lot of tips for Rain Rally specifically for some reason. And for that, I feel like the other regular tips don't appear as often. There are still the tips similar to the ones you get in Adventure Mode, where the hop a, hop a THC crate off your head, or do a power slide or something. What I also like, what I like probably the best about it is... The good tips are basically the exact same tips that Aku Aku tells you in the adventure mode. Both spelling and regular grammar. Like, it actually is literally the same thing. So, it's literally the same as if they were in the original game. Which I think is a really cool secret that not many people notice. Oh. See, I had to break drift there. Just a fortunate side effect of having to do that. It's either that or Bunk and lose almost just as much time, if not even more. And then, of course, you get to like lap uh, six and beyond, and then things start getting crazy, especially when the tiny blue wings appear. From what the pro challenges suggest, it is possible to create up to ten wraps in each course of Green Rally. Maybe more, depending on your setup, but it essentially requires you to not lose your speed for how knows how many laps and get perfect runs of everything. Well, actually, I need to slow down. I just had to jump over stuff. Whoops. Had to drift there to make up the time. All right. Just over 400,000 points. Good. Second try, thankfully, I didn't take too long. I'm getting an average of lap 7 for each of these, which is still not bad considering I'm beating the high score every time. It's probably much harder to do that than I make it seem. Now, it is very hard to get a very good optimized score, which is why I'm not going for it directly. Unfortunately, we still have quite a few tracks to do, so we may end up having to reset as little as possible now. So I guess my backup will be if I can't get reins because I missed on uh, specific spots or I don't have enough, recognize that I don't have enough speed to make a shortcut, then I might uh, take a separate path just to be safe. You get so much time anyways, assuming you get 90% of the reins, you'll make it to lap 6. Of course, if you get every rain in every spot, then you can make it to lap 8 and beyond, but doing that's really hard. Let's see if the box is back. It's not. Good. I hate the box anyways. Oh, that was nearly a reset from the beginning. Imagine not making the middle shortcut on this. Also, remember that? Remember those enemies back there? Remember when I got hit by them for what no mysterious reason whatsoever? 
Yeah, that's a thing that can happen there if you're unfortunate enough to be in the wrong place. Supposedly, either their ice particle, or I think the way I'm doing it, the ice from one of the wizards hits you. But, it just doesn't make sense, because it seems like I'm not even there, and yet, um, I get hit by it. Okay, playing safe. This is actually probably one of the easiest of the tracks. I mentioned it several times before, start Battle Circuit's not an easy track when you're going for the other stuff. I definitely had, so I definitely had problems with this in my hard mode cup playthrough on the bonus track. This was right, so a hard one to win, that's for sure. That's kind of a big tech right there, considering I'm getting a lot of those rings on that one statue without even having to jump off it. You're normally supposed to jump off that statue right there. Okay, so thank goodness I don't actually have to take the shortcut, because there's nothing in it anyway. So this one is pretty much just jumping everywhere. The only gifs really occur at the very end. And this, of course, this one, to try and get that, but I'm really bad at that, for some reason. That's probably the worst things right there, the ones on that drift part, since you pretty much have to drift to have a chance of getting those and keeping your speed at the same time. Nearly got hit by the ice there, and I did get hit by that there. Can I still take that? No, I'm gonna have to take these. You know what? I think jumping is better. I just have to drift to set myself up for it and then stop the drift as berserk saw. Okay, I have to jump for it now. That didn't even cost that much time to jump for it, so I'm glad I did that. Oh. Okay, I went past him the same way as before, but I didn't get hit, thank goodness. I didn't really have any choice. When you're going this fast, you kind of just have to go for things. Okay. Okay, stop it. This one definitely has its tough points. In particular, avoiding the enemies on the middle section is probably the worst. Although there is only two sets of them, they can very well be in your way if you're not careful. And now it's getting really fast. Once you start going really fast, you just have to remember where the rain locations are so you know exactly when to go and to what spot that you go. Oh gosh, I'm nearly hitting the top of the wall there. Imagine if that does actually have collision and I were to hit that. I wonder what would happen. I just wonder. Okay. Jeez, oh, that was way too close. Okay. Good one. Surprisingly, Spell's not on top this time. He's there, but King Chicken is on top. That's very strange, because this is not King Chicken's course. I think he's uh, he's more uh, one on the prehistoric playground, or at least I remember. Or actually, no, that that would probably be Baby T Rex's Rex's course for sure. So yeah, he's kind of just there. I don't know why uh, he's on that course, but don't ask me. Ask him. <laughs> Uh, now Nina's nightmare. 
this is kind of a difficult one because I have to keep pink for this entire thing. So now having to deal with rings can get a little bit obnoxious, to say the least. Because for one, I need to figure out which path I'm going, whether it's the left or right. It's probably the rightmost path, to be fair, but... You'd be surprised, though. <laughs> You'd be surprised, man. Ugh. Nah, I'm not taking that start. Screw that. <laughs> not even the getting the star. Not even getting the star boost. This is the first time in Rain Rally that I reset from missing the star boost. It's because it's something that I rarely do in this kind of course. Okay, so looks like it is this way. Good. I'm glad I figured it out. Probably the trickiest start is gonna come after we finish the first two laps, then we have to dodge poison. But only now we have to dodge it for way more rounds this time around. That's probably actually the best way of doing that. It's just I've rarely had the speed for that. Okay, that works as well. I initially said that when I was doing the time trial of this, there's a drift that I found out where you go on the hill and it'll work, but of course this is Rain Rally. This is way different now. That's probably the worst thing right there that I, I wouldn't, I'm not going to be surprised if this doesn't happen at least once, like, man. <laughs> I, I think everybody was probably wondering, when am I going to slam into that, um, uh, shortcut? There's going to be one time where I'm going to slam into it, otherwise it's not a true run. That's probably one of the most painful fails you can have, too, because... It means you lose all of your speed and you lose a bunch of your ring rally time. So I could end up not being the scorer if that happens too many times. Okay, I'm jumping, but I'm not jumping uh, being on time. There has to be a very specific timing for that. That's why I hate doing it. This is Nina's track, obviously, if you haven't already guessed from the theme. Because this failed two times, this could be a lap 5 fail if it happens again. Screw it, I'm just gonna skip those reins and go the long way around. At least it showed me there's a better way of doing that shortcut, which means technically my time trial could be approved by even more. But it's way riskier to do that than it is anywhere else. It's gonna run out in the shortcut watch. Oh, never mind. Okay, we beat the top scorer, at least. Yeah. Kind of fortunate that I have to reset just from missing a star boost. Gosh, hate when that happens. Ugh, never fun. I'm gonna actually balance it out and see how much stuff I have. Because we did the first two, so I want to figure out how many I did. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
40 minutes to go. Yep, I think I know what I'm gonna do. Because I don't have enough time to finish the last three tracks, I'm just gonna end off the episode right here, so this is not gonna be a failure anyways. So, leave a like if you guys enjoy, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video where we potentially try and go for uh, finishing this uh, mode once and for all. I probably will still finish it today, I won't lie, but um, I'm not gonna finish it now, so... Next, we'll be doing Koala Carnival. Until then, leave a like if you guys enjoyed, comment, rate, subscribe, and see you in the next video, guys. Peace.